Okay, I have a vague idea uh, what I'm going to do for this uh, theme. Uh, I've jotted down a few bits and pieces on here. I don't know if you can see that. Um, my chicken scratches. Um, this is a <laughs> this is a tricky one. Um, so let me just uh, bring up what I'm talking about here. Uh, this is. Uh, the theme is your life is currency and to be honest I don't know <laughs> I don't know how to make a game for your life is currency uh, other than and, and I jotted this down was that you basically exchange your life force for like bigger weapons or something I thought that was a bit lame so then, then I thought maybe, uh, maybe it could be like um, a planet, and then you've got life forces on your planet, and they're using your resources, but they like promise to to put stuff back when they use it, but you can use certain things to like um, dissuade them from doing it. So. Uh, maybe there's, there has to be like a timer on it as well for each of these things. So I don't know. So um, what I'm going to do is jot down some ideas. Uh, this is going to be a fairly choppy. Just to, to warn you, this is going to be a fairly. Uh, let me put it back in full screen. Um, this is going to be a fairly kind of choppy video um, because I'll be like stopping and starting the recording. Uh, it's not going to be a tutorial format. This is this is literally just me sweating out trying to figure out. Uh, if, if I actually have a game here or not and if I don't then uh, I probably won't complete the jam um, but we'll, we'll see how we get um, uh, at the end of this it's already the jam has been going for an hour and ten minutes and I've been looking at other people's streams and other people are struggling as well so it's not just me and then other people have finished so <laughs> uh, it's uh, yeah um, to be honest, I think this might be like a resource management type game that I'll be building, which is not something I've built before. Um, but anyway, so the note format uh, or the note thing is um, you are a planet. You have resources. The resources are you. So that's the sort of basic thing. So you can have resources. Um, there is, of course, water on a planet. There are precious. Is that precious? Precious. Metals. Uh, there is uh, fuel, like gas. Could that be the air? Um, and then you have uh, the things that use them. So you have other life forces. So the other life forces, they um, mine for precious metals, drink the water. Um, use it for bad things. <laughs> use it for bad things. And I don't know what those bad things are. Um, and then they burn fuel. So things that are bad. Um, the more life, actually let's call them life forms. Forms there are the more resources you that is used you can stop the life forms from using resources uh, by um, punishing them so I'm thinking like you would have like a 
Um, maybe you could use a flood. Um, you could um, cave in the mine. Um, or maybe just an island. Maybe we can just sort of pare it down so you're just an island and you have life forms on there. Maybe that's an idea. Um, cave in the, maybe, maybe you're just an island in space. There you go. Uh, resources are you. You are an island in space. You have resources. The resources are you. Okay. So you can cave in the mine. Um, or maybe, well, there's, there's wood as well. Wood. And they can use wood to build houses. Okay, maybe they uh, used... All right, maybe uh, they used used for building houses. Uh, fuel. Let's call that fuel. Okay, precious metals. Um, precious metals can be used to. For, I don't know what precious metals can be used for just yet. Water can be used for drinking. Uh, and it can also be used for. Um, powering machines, steam, okay, and precious metals, or at least just metals, maybe, or minerals, let's just call it minerals, uh, and that can be used for um, decorations. Uh, life form currency. So there's those things there. And then, um, so other life forms uh, cause you pain by consuming using your resources. Remember, you are the resources. So the more life forms there are, the more resources are you that is used. So you can stop them by combating them from using that. So um, maybe you can, uh, what do I have there? I've got flood, cave in the mine, and then maybe for uh, wood, what can we do? Burn building houses, fuel, um, uh, I don't know. Um, um, natural disaster. I, I don't know. <laughs> uh, something like that. Um, game. Well, okay. So that's the there. So the mechanic is mechanics. Um, okay. So you're an island in space. You've got resources. Resources are you. Uh, water, drinking minerals, wood, and then the mechanics are you have these little creatures running about using your thing, and you have to stop them. It's kind of, I guess, it's kind of like uh, black and white, uh, or what's the other one? Not goddess. The other one, I can't remember. Uh, maybe it's a bit too similar to that. Um, where you're really controlling the behavior of those little creatures although i kind of just want it to be a resource game rather than this so the mechanic is um they're going to use a resource and then what is the mechanic see this is the problem is what is the mechanic like maybe the mechanic is they want to use some resource so the mechanic is they want to use some resource you counter by allowing the use of the resource or punishing them. Now, the problem with punishing them, though, is they have to give something back to you. Life forces, life forms can give back 
Um, <laughs> by what? Worshipping you? I don't know. Uh, this seems weird. This seems very weird. Uh, life forms can give back by worshipping you. Nah. Uh, life forms can give back by... Let me make that that. And then we'll put that in there. Worshipping you. Um, planting trees. Um, I mean, they can't really put back the minerals. Uh, and I don't even know what the minerals could be used for. I think they need to be able to put things back. I mean, planting trees is okay because they can. That's a, a renewable resource. The water, though, I don't know what they, how they could like replenish the water. I don't know. Uh, they need to give back to you, so you need to you need to have like a, a resource meter as well. So your res resource meter, so your meters. Uh, so there's uh, resource levels, levels for each uh, separate item, water, wood, and minerals. Um, and then Maybe the worship level level of the humans life forms uh, increases um, water, wood, minerals per turn. So each are over time, whatever um, over time. So if you have like a worship level of like 50%, then you're only going to get 50% of the resources over a certain amount of time. Maybe those multipliers, eh, maybe we'll leave that for later. Um, okay. Um, all right, so you get wood, minerals, and then you get worship level. So... We need to have uh, a worship level as well. So that's got to be a worship level. Okay, so we need to have a worship level. So you can start off like they're kind of neutral to you. Um, so start off neutral, neutral to you. Um, if you are nice to them, you use your resource they will worship you and this is kind of where the idea of currency comes in is that you basically use you use your body uh, this is where the idea of life as currency comes in as you let your body used you exchange it for worship so that's the kind of symbiotic relationship is that if you give them things then they will give you worship back and if you get worship then you increase your output of water wood and minerals um, but they're going to start taking more and more, so you need to punish them somehow. Um, for example, for example, okay, um, water is uh, being used too quickly. Um, I don't know. Um, uh, maybe you could um, flood their homes or something. Uh, yeah, uh, water's being used too quickly. You don't want to set off a forest fire <laughs> for this one. Um, so, 
Um, I, I guess we could we could maybe punish them in in various ways. So if they um, a cave in reduces their ability to mine by X percent. Um, um, let's call it a flood reduces their ability to uh, I mean, we need to get them to, it needs to be like a kind of rock paper scissors I think I've said that before um, so a cave-in reduces their ability to mine um, let's say their how can we get them to not use wood? Um, building houses, fuel. Okay, so building houses is shelter for them. Um, warmth. Um, better society. Because of... Uh, uh, industrialization. I'm just making stuff up now. Um, and then it's it's a bit. I think that the the chimpanzee who was using Instagram is making more sense than I am just now. <laughs> uh, it is also half past ten at night, so uh, I'm going to use that as an excuse. Um, okay, so you're nailing the space. You have resources. I, I thought I'd be further along than this. I really did. Um, maybe maybe I should start building this just now. Um, but what to build it in? Hmm. I, mean, I suppose I could use Unity, but it seems a bit of a cop out. Uh, hmm. Although I do want to just get something up and running quickly, so maybe Unity is a good, a good place to do that. Okay. Um, well, we need. What do we need? We need these meters first of all, uh, and we need the ability to to get those meters on screen, and we should probably do that. And then the mechanic. Uh, I mean, I can just have little characters going out to the woods and you know taking down a tree or something um the water thing though that's weird i don't know how i'm gonna do that this is kind of like an inverted kind of age of empire civilization in that you're not you're not really doing anything you're just kind of preventing them from doing stuff so uh kevin reduces the to mine um I need to come I need to figure out how we can get them to stop drinking water. Um, <laughs> well, <laughs> poison the water. Actually, we can have um, starts off neutral to you. Um, the, the the number of life forms on the uh, island in space. Number of life forms on the island in space, okay. Um, so you can poison the water. I don't know. Um, poison the water and then, like you, you, you can't just keep hammering poison the water. Uh, for a start that would be bad. But also, I don't think you can. Uh, it wouldn't be a good idea to to. I think there needs to be like a cooldown period for it. Possibly, um, and then what else we got here? Uh, Kevin used the ability to mine, poison the water. Um, How can we stop people using wood? Hmm. I mean, a forest fire would do that, but that's kind of the 
<laughs> not really the point. Um, uh, let me start from using the wood. Um, I don't know. Um, tell them to stop cutting down the trees. I don't, I don't know how we're going to do that. <laughs> if, but if that works, then that's fine. And then the idea is to um, the number of generations of life forms. So the idea is to survive a, a number of generations of life forms. So we'll need to have a meter for that as well. Well, not maybe a meter, just a sort of, just a number. So that's kind of the, the, the thing you want to have. But um, I don't know if there's much of a game, to be honest. Maybe it is. Who knows? Okay, let's um, figure some things out. Eh, right, so we've got meters. Um, so resource levels for each item, wood, blah, 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 blah. Star soil neutral. Okay, so our meters are just going to be, you know, just going to square meters. And I mean, these are just sort of default colors just now. Okay, so that would be, um, what have you got? Resource level for each item, water, wood, and minerals. So the water, um, water is going to be, um, Something like this. That looks kind of watery. And um, 
some of that. Made it a lot worse. Uh, so anyway, that gives you an idea of that. Um, okay, so there's your water, um, minerals. Uh, what have we got? Minerals. Uh, mineral is just going to be. Uh, this one here with um, uh, one of these, and then right to there, right to there. Some of this. That looks minerally. that's wood and then they're getting bigger uh and then finally there's the what else is there there's uh, resource levels for each of that worship level so worship level uh is probably going to be uh something that looks like a book like that and then um maybe uh Um, I just skew this. Um, I don't know. It's a book. It's good enough. That's terrible. That's worship. <laughs> um, it's not on neutral. Blah, 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 nice to body. I think I'm just putting off just now. Um, let's build that in there in Unity. Let's get it over with. Let's just choose Unity. Uh, so I'm going to choose um, Unity Hub. And I'm going to choose um, new, and I'm going to choose that one, which is the latest version. Uh, do I want to make it 3D or do I want to make it 2D? Um, let me make it 2D. And then get a refos, like folder, and then this is going to be called um, um, let me call this something ld44 Four, four, source, folder. Um, 
LD44 and create project. Okay. Okay, we're on our way. I don't think I've ever run this one. What if they, what if? What if they, what if it was like a, maybe, it would, maybe it's like a card game. Like that, that could be the mechanic is it's a card game. So you can have, you can, you have, you have certain things that they can counter with. Like they could play like three things in their hand and then you could have like a discard one card or like, you know, blow away, like counteract one card and maybe do it that way. We still need the meters. So I'm going to get the meters done tonight. Uh, we might not get anything else done, but I'm going to get the meters done tonight. Um, okay, let me... Okay, so there's a game, there's our scene. Uh, I'm going to create a 2D object, which is going to be... Uh, a UI, in fact, which is going to be um, just a canvas for now. And bring that in there. 2D... And the canvas is going to be um, screen space overlay. And we'll make it scale with screen size. And it's going to be uh, 800 by 480. No, 450. Yeah, 800 by 450, which is the same as 16 by 9. Um, and that's going to be 0 0.5 reference pixels per unit. Um, that sounds about right. And that sounds okay. Okay. And then I'm going to add a... Um, what am I going to add here? I'm going to add a panel. I don't think it really matters right now what it's going to be, but it is going to have a canvas group on it, uh, whatever it is. And I'm going to put that in the top corner here, somewhere like that. I think it doesn't really matter. I suppose. Um, actually, maybe let's, let's put it top left and keep it consistent. And then the background color for that, the alpha, is going to be zero. And then I'm going to add UI um, image. And that image is going to be, uh, I need to give it something. Damn it. Uh, assets, create art, and now I need to um, uh, Photoshop. Okay, so if I make it, um, I want to make it different colors basically for, for each of the, the um, the images, so or each of the 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 meters. Um, so let's make it like um, blue for water, brown for wood, gold for minerals, um, and then we've got a worship level which will make purple. Yeah, I think that should be good. And then we'll just have like little icons for each one of those. Uh, so over in Photoshop. Um, I just need to, to have one meter on there. So the width is going to be um, uh, 48, and then it's going to be 90. Actually, it's going to be 
width is going to be 100, which is one unit. Um, and then we'll make it 300 tall, something like that. Create. And that's all we need to do. So I'm going to save that. I don't know why it's not saving. Uh, let's just do export, save for web legacy. And I'm going to save that to here, which is an explorer. Art. Uh, and it's not going to be a JPEG, it's going to be a PNG. Save. Uh, and we'll just call this meter. Um, let's create a new folder here called UI. And we'll call that meter. And uh, I'll save that as well. Meter. Um, yeah. Yes. Call that meter. Okay. So that's everything saved there. And then inside here, we can then choose image. And then the source image is this sprite here, which is meter, which uh, is point no filter, uh, pair two, da, 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 and pair two, none, and apply. Okay, so now if I go back to image here, uh, I'm gonna choose meter as that, except that's not brought in as a meter. Uh, spring to me. Da, 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 da. Sprite mode single tight center. Uh, generate physics shape. Nah, don't need a physics shape for it. Uh, apply. And now if we go back to here and I choose a meter and drag that in there. Boop. And then I can choose preserve aspect. So that gives me the aspect ratio, which is great. So I'm going to put that up there. And then the color is going to be a kind of cyan -y color. Color is going to be a cyan -y color. Something like that. And then that is going to be our uh, water meter. And then I'm going to do control D and I'm going to drag that over to here. And the water meter here is not going to be a water meter. It's going to be a uh, uh, minerals. Oh, it's water, wood, water, wood meter. And our wood meter is going to be a kind of brown color, which is kind of roughly in there. Not a very nice looking color, but never mind. And then this one here goes to here. And that is our mineral meter. Our mineral meter is going to be that kind of goldy color, um, which is kind of in this kind of ballpark here. And finally, uh, we have our worship meter, which is going to be a kind of imperial purple here. So that's going to be worship meter. Uh, and we also have like a, a, the other the other thing in there, the number of life forms, number of generations. So you need to figure that out as well. Um, but all of these are going to be set to uh, filled. So I'm going to make them filled and they are going to be vertical. And uh, that should bloop, work out quite nicely for us. So that is our meters. So that's good. So we have our little meters there. Sweet. So I need to go and find some icons for the meters and then some way to control those meters um, in code. So I'm going to add a new folder called scripts. And I'm going to create another folder in here called UI. And I'm going to create a new script, uh, C-sharp script, uh, and it's going to be called um, 
what's it gonna be called meters I really just want to have meter levels um, uh, I want an easy way to to um, change those values um, what I want to have um, C sharp script. Okay, um, and I'm going to call this one um, meter script. Okay, so meter script is going to have uh, four image values, and those four image values are going to let me set those um, to whatever I need them to be. Uh, filament is going to be zero, whatever it is. I mean, do I really need that? Eh, maybe. Who knows? Why did that not load? It's loading over here. Right, so um, I'm gonna have a public float um, water meter, which let's just call it water. Um, public image. A public image yeah I think it's image yeah image and that is in UI um, water public image uh, wood um, Get and that's going to be return water dot uh, fill amount water dot fill amount equals value. So we're going to copy that for each one of these. Um, so I'm saying is that I'm. I don't know if I need this, if this is just overkill, because I can get access to it there anyway. Um, maybe it's okay. Like the fill amount. Uh, yeah, maybe this is overkill. Um, I do have access to it there, but I do need to know how to calculate what each one of these is. Yeah, maybe I need to figure out the, the maybe it's got to be like a card game. The more I think about it, the more I think it has to be a card game. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to go off stream and, or at least <laughs> stop the recording just now and have a think about the card game. I'm not entirely sure that this is the right way to go. Um, yeah, I'm going to probably kill this. Actually, I'm going to kill this meter script just now, just so that we're on the same page, so to speak. And I will catch you guys. Uh, well, it'll be a second for you, so... See in a second. All right, so I had a think, and uh, I've come up with. Uh, where am I going to get this? This, this here. Oh, no, a minute. There we go. So, <laughs> if you want to take a screen grab of that, 
that's really what I've kind of come up with. And the idea is that um, the computer will play a, a couple of cards, like three cards, and then that will use a particular amount of resources for me. And then you ha you will counter that. And then this meter here, you're going to start off with like 10 of each, uh, except this one here is going to be uh, 0 0.5. So it, you, you always start off as neutral, like neither good nor evil. Um, but when your meter gets full for here, then you get like an extra card or something else, like a bonus thing. So you want the, the idea is you want to get that uh, meter as much as possible. Um, but the, the player, the cards that the computer deals, um, in other words, the, 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 the life forms, uh, the those cards always get played, so you have to counter it with the cards that you have in your hand, um, and maybe you can like discard or like replay one card or something. But then you have to play that hand, uh, uh, or maybe you get like a selection of five, like three cards, but you can only play two. Maybe that's a maybe that's a good way to go as well. Anyway, that's what I've got so far. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, create the card deck for this um, so scripts and I'm gonna call this one game I'm just gonna start writing like back-end stuff for this and then the hope that it works uh, so create C sharp script and this is gonna be called um, uh, let's just call it resources or island resources And it's just going to be a plain old C-sharp class. Um, uh, and resources. Permit int water equals 10. Int uh, minerals equals 10. Int uh, wood equals 10. Ship equals five. So these are the resources that you have on there. Uh, private int generation and uh, equals uh, zero. Int. Uh, I don't know what population. I'm, I'm not entirely sure if we can do population for this one. So I want it to. Um, I want to interact with. I want the card hand to change things in here. So uh, do I want to pass that around? Maybe I do want to pass that around. Okay. So public uh, <laughs> um. So I want to have I want to have an action that does all of this automatically, so I don't have to like keep rewriting these things. So it's gonna like you know uh, in this example here. So build houses is going to add one to water, but decrement the minerals and wood by one, um, and then increase like industrial production is going to uh, decrease water, increase minerals and decrease wood and so on so i want it to i want it to action on this um but i don't want to i don't want to write uh commands for this do i want to write commands for this uh, i think i want to know hmm. Uh, I want to have an action on there, but I don't know what this island is going to be. So maybe I can take in that island resource and then, okay, so the action can take in the island resource and then manipulate it. Okay, that's good. So public, actually I can just have public. Um, 
I can do public int water water minerals wood worship generation um, and then that's going to be get set equals zero uh, get set oops set equals five and would equals get set equals ten uh, get set and get set okay so that's island resources there and then for each one of the actions it's going to take in an island resource and then do something with it so the actions uh let me go back up to here so um create um, um player card i don't know just i'm just shouting at the, the moon now so player card it's also just gonna be that and um, it's going to have some things out there. And then it's going to have private. Hmm. What is it going to have? It's going to have protected void apply uh island resources resources says and this is going to be an abstract class uh actually that's going to be public public player card action uh action um Action, uh, private action, as, um, resources, action, action equals action. Okay. And system, uh, action, resources. So that's going to perform the action on that resource. Um, do I need to have that as an abstract class? Probably not. And, um, okay. But, uh, I mean, really, I need to know from here, um, string, uh, description. Um, I need to know string body. Um, I think that's all I need to do for that. And then I've got public uh, string uh, description get public string body get description equals description body equals body. Uh, I'm hoping these are all these are all valid. Sorry, there's people with clogs above me. Hope these are all valid. Island resources, okay. And then the player deck uh, is going to be a selection of these cards. So, um, so I'm going to create another one here called um, Player deck factory. Uh, sure. Uh, player deck factory is just going to play an old class as well. And then um, private list player card. Cards equals new list. 
clear card. Uh, public player deck factory. And then uh, this is going to be um, uh, cards.add new player card. And it's going to be the action, whatever the action is going to be. I don't know yet. Uh, description build houses. Build new houses for the worshippers. And then the action is going to be um, the island resources. So it's going to be IR. Um, IR dot uh, water plus plus IR dot minerals minus minus IR dot wood minus minus. So every time you play that card, that's what happens to your island resources is they get water increased, minerals decreased, wood decreased. Uh, yeah, would decreased. And then we do the same thing for the other card types. And then that's the card deck. So add new player card. IR. Comma. And then this one is increase. Industrial production. Uh, So that is um, um, yep. and then the other one is make more money. Increases. Um, make money. That's going to be IR dot water, IR dot wood, minerals, uh, IR dot worship, plus plus. So they add one to uh, the worship, but it does take away from the wood, take away from the minerals, and take away from the water, but it does add to your, your worship. Um, and I think, is that it? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that's the four card types that the, the player can play. So that's the, the card deck factory. And then the cards one, um, we need to create a new random one here. So uh, deal. So we're going to do public. Um, player card deal 
Random, I'm going to be a random. Random dot var index equals ah, var random equals new random. Um, or we could actually have that in here. We could have actually have said read only private read only random and d equals new random. And then we can see our index equals rnd dot next uh, zero comma cards dot length count even uh, return cards index. So that just returns a random card at that position. And so the player is going to play. Um, one of these, one of these four cards. Um, so maybe they only get, maybe they only get two cards as well because it's going to be a very short game. Let's say they, they, we'll try it with three, and if that doesn't work, then we'll we'll bring it down to two. Because um, I could see you getting like if you get three cards and they're all cathedrals. Then you're gonna <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna lose you know well three waters woods and minerals straight away but you are gonna increase worship by three so eh, you know maybe that's a good thing um, okay uh, so that's that their player deck factory and then we're gonna have like a we need to have a turn as well and then we also need to have your cards so um those are player cards as well really um so they kind of counter what you've got um well the counter is invert so you invert selection and i need to figure that out that next bit out. but i think that's I don't know, that makes sense. It makes sense to me anyway. Uh, so I'm going to go and create those those cards. I think I also need to know... Uh, I think I need to know the prefab that that belongs to as well. Or maybe I'll put them in the prefab. Eh. Honestly, not too bothered about that. I think maybe I think maybe um, I'm gonna. I, there's only four cards, so I think what I'm gonna do is create um, just four. Yeah, just four separate images. I think. Okay, I'm gonna do that. All right, like steal some inspiration here um, trading card template there we go Not bad. Play like that. That's kind of nice. I like the the fact. I mean, it does have that there. So that's three, three, and twenty-two. So, um, that's an ad for that. Trading card template. I think it's the anywhere to download this though. Maybe there is not a way to download this. <laughs> uh, it doesn't look like there is. Uh, no, 
Let's do that. I mean, what information do I need to have on there? I need to know the. It's kind of like that. Where we've got. Um, so it's going to be. Um, we've got an image like this. Not, not great TV, this. Um, so it's kind of something like that. And then we've got. Um, kind of header like that and then the kind of body text here and then uh, water um, water wood mineral and then plus one worship so something like that yeah that programmer art at its best I can't seem to get this to be the the right thing yeah there you go there you go programmer art so I'm gonna go and build that uh, rather than well you can I'll I'll stop the video here and then I'll start it again and then you can watch me just faff around in, in uh, Photoshop for ages. It'll be fun. <laughs>